laws, what he calls the five laws, are the basic description of the structure of existence. So number one is you exist. There's nothing you can do to change that. You can change your form, but you cannot change the fact that you exist. The reason for that, very stupidly simply, is you can't become non-existent because by definition, non-existence doesn't exist. That's its definition, to not exist. Therefore, that which does exist just exists. That's its quality and cannot become that which doesn't exist because there's no such thing as non-existence by definition. So that's number one. Number two is everything is here and now, which basically means space and time are an illusion, a projection of our consciousness. Everything actually exists all at once. It's all accessible right here. You just have to change your frequency in order to access it because that's how they're separated. They're separated by frequency. Just in the same way that TV programs are separated by frequency, even though they may all be running at the same time. Uh, number three is the one is the all, the all are the one, <clears throat> which means there is only one thing and everything that seems different is made out of that one thing because there's nothing else to make anything from. Number four is what you put out is what you get back. Sometimes people on earth translate this as the law of attraction. And <clears throat> something important to say about that, because even though it's not incorrect to say that, well, you have to be the vibration of a thing to attract it. The idea of the way it's usually stated here is, in my opinion, incomplete. And people are left thinking, I have to learn 